mom's not home, which means I can be as loud as I want to. And all the judgments will not be directed toward me because no one's home. Today I'm doing a video about all my unfinished series. And this is both series that are unfinished, literally, as in like the last books haven't come out. And the books that um, are in a completed series, but I just have not finished. I'm going to start off with series that are incomplete. The first series that's unfinished that I've read is Obsidian. This is the first book in a five book series. The series goes, can you see it? No, you can't. Let's just tilt over here. Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, Origin, and the last one is Opposition. It comes out August of 2014. The next series is Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. The second book of Triton just came out. I think this summer, I'm not sure, but this is going to be a trilogy and I've only read the first one. This series is about mermaids and I thought it was okay, but the cover is so gorgeous. I bought it because the cover. Just saying. The next unfinished series is The Selection by Kira Cass. I've read both this one and the second one, which you see over there. And the third one, the one comes out May 10th, I believe. I have that written down somewhere, but... Um, yeah, this is a finished series next year, and I cannot wait to see how it wraps up. I honestly have no clue what's gonna go down. The most highly anticipated one is the Mortal Instrument series, which will be wrapping up May 27th, 26th? I think it's the 26th. It's the 26th or 27th of May of next year, in which City of Heavenly Fire comes out. I cannot wait. I'm gonna die. The next series is the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer series. I love you. The last book comes out June 10th, the same week as my birthday. What? Also the same week as the Tipios movie, so um, the Retribution of Mara Dyer and the Tipios movie are gonna ruin me and I won't be alive during the month of June if you're just wondering where I went. I'm dead. The next series is Monument 14 by Emmy Labor. This is the first book in a trilogy and the last book comes out next year. I've only read the first one. Um, it's been about a year since I've read this one and I thought it was okay. I think this is the only book on this list that I don't think I will finish this series unless I like get the book for a present or it's on bargain or something. <laughs> This doesn't need any explanation. If you are aware of my existence, it, it's like hand in hand with this book. This is my lifeline. I'm gonna die when Ignite Me comes out. Instant death. The next book is The False Prince by, I forgot your name, Jennifer A. Nielsen. I am very sorry. I read this book around the time I read Monument 14 a very long time ago. I don't really talk about this book on my channel, which is weird because I did enjoy it and I really want to finish this, but I've never really had the extra money to pick up the second one because it's not like a top priority read or anything. So maybe when the third one comes out next year, I will marathon the last two and then maybe review. I don't know. Not really many people know about this, so I should start talking about it. The next series is The Innocence by Lily Pelliquin. I got this as an arc from Goodreads, so I read these both um, in like a span of two days. They're very short, but they're very like a mystery, and it was actually pretty good. I thought it would be like Gossip Girl, like really annoying chick flick, but it was actually really great. And I do recommend these books. Um, the third one's probably gonna come in hardback in this cover, so none of mine are gonna match, but oh well. The next series that I have to finish is the ones that coincide with Anna and the French Kiss, which would be Lola and the Boy Next Door and Something and the Happily Ever Something. The next series is Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. The third book comes out January 28th. Is that it? I believe so. It is Under the Never Sky, Through the Evernight, and then Into the Still Blue. And I am so excited, except I think I'm going to have to reread these because I don't really rem remember them. Whoopsies. It's been since April that I've read the second one, so I should probably catch up a little bit. And then the next book series is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I know the second one, Hollow City, comes out next <coughs> excuse me, it comes out next month, 
And um, I will be getting that signed. He's um, coming back to Texas, so yay! The next series is The Archived, and the second book comes out next year. So I just read this book. I thought it was really nice and really interesting. And I do want to see where it goes, because I hope there will be a lot of world building in the next one. And so that comes out. I'm not sure. I have no idea where I was going with that, because I have no clue. Oh, I'm using the other one as a tripod, so I can't have, like, a physical example. But the next series is The Darkest Minds by Alexandria Bracken. I read the first book a while ago, and I have the second book to read. And then the third book comes out next September? Next fall sometime. It's a pretty long time. And I liked the first one. I'm not sure how I'm going to like the second one, but I do want to finish the trilogy because it's really interesting. And there's so many Shatter Me parallels that I'm like kind of compelled to read it. You feel me? Those were all the series that are unfinished that I'm waiting to read. And then the ones that are already complete that I have not finished goes as... Number one is Graceling by Kristen Kishore. I read Graceling um, a while ago and I really, really liked this. So I went to the library to get the next one and I realized it doesn't follow the same characters. It just follows the same world with different spin-off characters and I was so upset. And then I realized all the two sequels are both like that and so I was like, ah. But at this point, I'm kind of considering this a standalone, but I did like it and perhaps I'll pick up the other two. The next trilogy that I have not finished is Perfect Chemistry, and the reason I have not finished this is for the same reason as Graceling. The other two books follow different characters, and the second book follows this main character's brother, and I don't know about the third one. I thought this book was okay, and not too thrilled to get the second or third one, but if I find them in paperback to match this one, then hunky dory, we're doing it. The next book was a library book, so I don't have it to show you, but it is Fallen by Lauren Kate. I thought this book was alright, and so I may not put this on my priority list to finish, so either way, I really do want to get the rest of it. The next series is Hush Hush by Becca. Oops, covering it up. Becca Fitzpatrick. I had a real life friend recommend this to me the longest time ago, and I read it, and I was like... I did not like it at the time, but I am going to reread this eventually. I have the second book in my TBR shelves, and so hopefully I'll read the, this one and the second one, and then if I like it, I'll probably get the rest of them. The next series is Vampire Academy. I have the first through fifth? Fourth? I'm not sure, but I did buy a couple of them, and they're out in my TBR. I did not really like the first one, but all I have heard is that it gets better, it gets better. So I'm definitely going to try and read this. I think I'm going to reread this when the movie comes out and then in February read the rest of the series after I reread this because I remember nothing about this one. The next finished series is A Maximum Ride by James Patterson. I also got this a very long time ago. I read it a very long time ago. All I remember is that the littlest girl lost her teddy bear and then like the world ended while they were gone. It's a blur. I don't think I'm gonna finish this series just because it's not like it's interesting but I just hit myself in the face. I don't think it's something that I would enjoy for like however many books it is. It's five books? Six books? Seven books? I don't know but I think I'd get bored with it. The next series is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. This is the first book in the... Is there a title for this trilogy? Let's just call it Across the Universe Trilogy. I have the second book right over here. It's just under a stack of things. I've not read it yet and I still have to pick up the third one. Another series that I have not finished... That I should have finished like 10 years ago. The Lightning Thief or the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. Yeah, I know. I'm only on the third one. Um, I have no excuse not to have read these. And it's really sad because I really want to read the Heroes of Olympus series. I'm so jealous of everyone who's read it. And I've been spoiled for it because it's so popular, but I actually don't really care that much. And um, I just really want to finish these so I can read those. Because these I think are kind of cheesy and predictable, but 
do want to finish them though. I like this world. Speaking of books that I should have finished 10 years ago, I have not read the full Harry Potter series yet. I am currently, oh my god, so heavy, on the fourth book. Um, I read this much of it last night, that little snippet. It's actually like 100 pages, it just looks like 20 of them. Um, so I'm going to be finishing this hopefully soon. I really want to get this out of the way because dang. The second to last series that I have is Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. I have the second one but I have not read it and I thought this one was okay. Um, I do want to finish it because I want to see how it ends up and my friend, this is one of his favorite series and so he's probably going to push me to read them if I decide that I don't want to. So yeah, this was alright. I maybe will finish it, maybe eventually. That's what I'm going to say. And then lastly is Crash by Nicole Williams. This is the old cover and this is like the um, large printing from like... Kindle or you know you know um, so yeah this is like a large paperback but they have new covers now and this book was really creepy I found myself like hmm because the main character is like a criminal it's it's weird but um I don't know my friend has read this and she liked them a lot but I'm not really a fan of like bad boys as love interests because <laughs> I'm like such a goody goody that I'm like why are you breaking the law you need to go to jail sir maybe I'm just innocent but yeah I did not really like the characters in this book but I may end up finishing it anyways but that's something to think about and that was all my foot's asleep that's really uncomfortable to sit on the floor for like 20 minutes at a time so that was all for this video, and my books fell over because we have gaps. Let's just scoot Jace back upright. There you go. Stay. So sassy. I'll see you next time. Um, if you have read and finished these series, then that would be awesome to let me know how you enjoyed them. Lots of motivation because a lot of these unfinished series are unfinished for a reason. Laziness. Go Whitney. I will see you next time. Until then, I hope you're having a good day. And that's all I have to say. I think that rhymed. Day? Say? It did.